start this because I wanted to get my presenting on, you know, make sure I've got some experience on this myself, give you guys advice, but at the same time, um, use my experience and experience of other people that I would love to collaborate with. So, my friends, you better get ready to collaborate. Speak of me, collaborate with me and hopefully I'll be able to meet some new YouTube friends and they'll be able to join me so we can give advice to people who may need advice because you never know what people are going through in this world and it'll be so nice to know that somebody watched my video and changed their life from a bad situation or from a bad decision that they were going to make. This is episode one and I was thinking it will be good to talk about our purpose in life, like what is it? And let me tell you, most people have probably struggled with, you know, this question, like, what is my purpose in life? I was in a youth group um, a couple of years ago and we was actually discussing this same question, like, what is our purpose in life? And there was a book, I think it's called Purpose Driven, but I'll put the book up here. If you guys haven't read it, it's a good read and you can actually get some inspirational um, messages from it. And we were talking about this and to be honest, after leaving that youth group, I still did not know exactly what my purpose in life was. And the thing that I can now say, obviously through my whole journey so far in life, that you're never really on the wrong path. You're usually on the right path to, you know, what you're supposed to do in life, but there's so many things that life throws at you that might, you know, derail you from that track. And that's one thing I did learn, especially when I came out of university. I still did not know exactly what I wanted to do. And I did go into uni wanting to please my family. Like, my family are not the typical Nigerians that tell you, blessing, you must be an accountant. You must, you must study accountancy, okay? It was nothing like that. I just felt like I owed it to my parents to do something that will make them proud. So I chose a subject that I did enjoy and didn't enjoy. Like I didn't see myself being in a bank. I couldn't see myself, you know, being a financial service advisor or whatever it is that has to do with, you know, finance and stuff. So coming out of university, I think that was the time when I was like, you know what, I need to actually know, like, what is my purpose in life? I did take time to do different courses. That's when the modeling came in. Like, I just thought, let me just do something. Let me give you an advice, guys. Like, never not do anything. It doesn't matter if you know exactly what your purpose in life is. The fact that you can't get something straight away or get into that thing straight away, it doesn't mean you should be stagnant or not do anything find something to do that you know would benefit you but others as well like it will add more to you not just you know don't just go and get any odd job just because you want the money and stuff I mean money is part of it but at the same time I think people should choose jobs that they know would add to their skills or add to their character and that's how I got into my job today like I went into customer service in the railway and it actually brought out my confidence. After a couple of months doing the job, I was now exposed to so many different types of people, which made me just come out of my shell. It brought out my character. I hope this topic is gonna inspire, especially those who are at a young stage where they're coming up to um, a time in their life where they don't know exactly, you know, what life is and stuff. like. I think it's so good to have found yourself when you're young rather than, you know, too late. It's usually when you get to university that most people start finding out who they are. Sometimes a bit too late because they do all sorts of things. I think knowing your purpose when you're a bit younger is so crucial because your purpose in life is, is not just about career paths. It's got to do with like who you choose as your friends, who you choose, who you think is going to be the person you're going to get married to, what job you're going to choose, what career path you're going to choose. It's about everything that has to do with your life. What is the purpose of you getting this job? What is the purpose of you marrying this person? What's the purpose of you having a friendship with this person? What's the purpose of you, you know, getting into this job? It would have been so good if we had people when we were so young to tell us, you know, that this is how life is going to be. You're going to 
go to college, you're gonna go to university, you're gonna come out, you're gonna get a job, but what is your purpose? Why are you going through all these stages to do what? I'm grateful that I'm actually doing this so that whoever's watching, especially if you're young, you start to think about, you know, life before it actually starts happening. Most people who are a bit older now, they're usually saying, oh, I'm trying to still find myself. You don't need to find yourself. You just need to find out what your purpose in life is. I think finding your purpose in life is what would now help you to find who you are or help you to acknowledge who you are. I don't think it should be the other way around. I don't think it should be you finding yourself before you find out what your purpose in life is. I think you should go through a journey of finding out what your purpose in life is, which will now make you to find out who you are. I remember my dad, if you're watching that, I'm sorry for not sitting down with you to have chats because he used to be like, oh, let me, oh, let's talk, let's talk. And obviously me assuming that, oh, he's gonna talk about boys and stuff and blah, blah, blah. All he wanted to do was talk about things that would happen in life as a young person, what life is gonna be about. And I actually wish that I did sit down with my dad and have these chats because it would have saved me a lot of time. It would have saved me from the relationships that I did have in the past. Those guys were not part of my purpose in my life. And obviously you could not because we're not together anymore. But imagine I did have that chat with my dad, you know, to help me to start thinking more maturely. I probably would have always, whenever get into a relationship, think about why am I getting into this relationship with this person? How is this person going to add value to my life? That's what you guys need to start doing. You need to start thinking ahead. Most of us young people, we always live for the moment. We never think about, you know, the consequences of our actions until we're a bit older and or until something happened, drastic happens and then we're actually thinking about it. It's time right now to start thinking about your life. Is this thing or is this person going to add value to my life? If not, get them out. You need to think about what you're doing and then actually ask yourself this question. Am I betraying my feelings? Am I going against my beliefs? Am I letting myself down? Like if you ask yourself those questions, you would know whether you're on that right path or not, or whether this, you know, situation you've put yourself into is actually for you. Number two is your respect and your integrity. If you respect yourself and you respect your integrity, trust me, you're not gonna do anything that is not going to make you happy or that's gonna go against your belief or against you know your integrity. So if you find yourself in a situation or you find yourself with a person that and you're thinking to yourself, I'm actually compromising my integrity, my respect for my the respect I have for myself or for my family, then you need to you know rethink. Number three is on this path that you're taking, are you wasting your time? Are you wasting your time with this person? Are you wasting your time in this job? Are you wasting your time doing this course? Whatever it is, you have to think, is this a waste of my time? And if it's a waste of your time, you know what to do. Number one, you need to have the right people around you. Your family are there to help and support you. Have the right friends around you. If you're gonna have friends who aren't going to add value to your life, I suggest you put some distance in between you. I'm not saying you should, you know, not be friends with people, but you should know who to be close with and who to let into your life and you know into your business. And also network, network with people that you know are going to affect your life or affect whatever path you're taking. Number two is distractions. Lord have mercy we've all been through this. We've all been distracted, come off the path that we're supposed to be taking. Whether it be guys, whether it be girls, we're all distracted, the wrong jobs, you know, looking at Instagram, at this person doing well, we're distracted, we wanna start doing what they're doing. We're not supposed to be following what other people are doing. Yours is different, I shared with everyone that you might have the same goal as somebody else, but your path is gonna be totally different. My last point is, prayer this should actually be the first you know thing to consider when you're on your path pray like if you believe in god prayer is always the best thing to do like when you are trying to figure out things in life just sit down take a moment and just you know pray about it one thing that i've learned from praying is that when 
I pray about something and I find peace within that situation, then I know that that thing is, what I'm doing is right. But if I'm praying about something, you know, for God to give me some direction into something I want to do and I'm battling with my spirit, like, um, should I do this or not? Oh, oh no, I don't know. Like, I'm, you know, in a confused state of mind, then for me, it's like God telling me that, you know, what, this is not for you. So whatever you find peace in is usually the right thing to do. It's, all, it's usually what you're supposed to do or is usually the right person you're supposed to be with. If you haven't got peace in that relationship, peace within that job, peace, with that, peace within anything that has to do with your life, then it's usually time for you to let that go. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this first episode. As you know from my previous video, my blog site is up. I'm going to put a blog post about our topic today the purpose in life so that you guys can go back and read some of the stuff that i've said so make sure you subscribe to this channel like share comment below if you guys have any questions make sure you send me some comments if you don't want everyone to see what you want to share with me you can send me an email at info at blessingboyega.com and i will answer your questions so guys Thank you and see you in our next episode. Bye. Hey guys, my site is up, bestinbyaga.com. Make sure you go and check it out. Check out my first post, social media challenge, and let me know what you think. If you want to contact me, send me messages or questions, make sure you go to my contacts page. Don't forget to subscribe to my site so that you don't miss any of my updates and posts. Check out my about page and I'll see you in my next video.